In this redstone tutorial, I'll show you how to make an automatic amethyst shard farm for Bedrock Edition. Stick around and I'll show you how. Hello everybody, I'm Rogue Fox, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition redstone tutorial. Looking for more redstone tutorials? Be sure to like and subscribe, and also be sure to check out the Truly Bedrock SMP series. Just like you saw at the beginning of the video, except very quickly, we are creating an automatic amethyst shard farm. Now, what makes this build automatic is the observer is actually detecting every growth stage of the amethyst bud. And then when it gets to its fourth stage, which is the amethyst cluster, which we can then harvest for the amethyst shards, it will activate the piston and break it just like you see right there. And of course, the observer is not doing all that work. We do have some redstone circuitry behind there. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at how to make it. To make this automatic amethyst shard farm, you are going to need a 2x7 area. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. And there we go. There are all the supplies we'll need for this build. So we have one observer, one piston, four hoppers, four comparators, three redstone torches, six redstone dust, five junk items, your building blocks, and then of course you will need to build this on a budding amethyst. With that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. To start things off, we want to build around our budding amethyst, which will be located right here in this build. Now what we're going to do is grab a temporary block, skip this block, place a temporary block right there, grab a hopper, run the hopper into that temporary block, go ahead and remove the temporary block, grab another hopper, and then crouch place that hopper into that one just like that. Now what we're going to do is skip this block and we're going to do the same thing. Place a temporary block right there, grab your hopper, run your hopper into that temporary block, remove it, grab your other hopper, and then crouch place that hopper into that one just like that. And from there, this is what the build should look like so far. Now go ahead and grab your comparators and what we're going to do is run comparators out from these front hoppers into the back ones like that and then run one more comparator out from the back left one just like that. Now go ahead and grab your last comparator, turn around, run a comparator out from this hopper and into the budding amethyst. Now go ahead and place a temporary block right there, an observer right there facing towards the budding amethyst. And then what we're going to do is grab a redstone torch and place it on the back of the observer like that. From here, what we're going to do is open up this hopper. We're going to grab four of our junk items, one, two, three, four, place those in. And then on this one, you can see the comparator is activated. In that hopper, go ahead and place the last junk item in right there. So what's happening is this redstone torch is locking this hopper, keeping those items in place. And the comparator is detecting those items in the hopper and then giving us a redstone output, which is then going to lock this hopper right here. What we're going to do next is grab a redstone torch, place it on this side of the budding amethyst, and notice that will invert because we have this comparator that is also detecting the items in this hopper, giving us a redstone output that is powering this budding amethyst because it is a solid block. Therefore, this is going to be inverted. Now go ahead and grab your piston and place your piston right above that torch facing the amethyst. Once you have that in place, let's go to the back of the build and with this comparator, run that comparator into a block like that. Grab your last redstone torch and place it right there. And that is going to stay on for the time being. Now place a block above it like this, and then run blocks all the way down to the front hopper like that. Finally, grab your redstone dust and line all of these blocks up with redstone dust, and that is going to power. And believe it or not, that is the redstone all finished. Now that the redstone is done, let me try my best to explain how it all works. So what we actually have here is a counting system. Now when we have our first bud, which is going to be that, one item from this hopper will go into this hopper over here. And because this is all powered, this is actually locking this hopper, keeping that item in place. Now let's say we get to the second stage. That is going to quickly turn off. We have two items left and two in the other one. Our third one empowers one left, three in that one. And then we have our fourth stage, which is our amethyst cluster, which then gets broken by the piston. And then all of this resets. So what happens in that time is the last shard or junk item goes over into this hopper. Because there are no items left in this hopper, this comparator is no longer detecting anything. And this one isn't detecting anything either. We'll get to that in just a second. But with this one, this unpowers releasing this item over into this hopper, which then gets detected by this comparator, which then inverts this redstone torch, 
which then turns off all of this redstone, and that means this hopper, both of these hoppers, unlock, and that allows all the items to go back into this hopper here. For this comparator, like I mentioned, once this completely empties, this is going to unpower because it's no longer detecting anything, and because it's no longer powering this block, this allows this redstone torch to turn back on, thus powering the piston here like you saw. So again, let me try to do it real quick. So stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. And there we go. That is how the redstone works. And that is how you make the automatic amethyst shard farm. As far as the collection system goes, I'll leave that up to you. But I will say, because we have this block being powered by the comparator, if we place hoppers around it, that is going to cause the hoppers to lock, therefore not collecting any of the items here. So I would recommend placing a hopper minecart underneath the budding amethyst and then placing some glass blocks around it. The reason why I don't have it now is just so we can get a good visual of everything going on. And that is how you make the automatic amethyst shard farm. If you haven't checked out any of my other redstone tutorials, a playlist will be popping up on the left side of the screen. But with that being said, everyone, this is going to be the end of today's redstone tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I will see you later.